Hello. Okay, so this will be my attempt at ASMR for my 50,000 subscriber special. As you might notice, I am not whispering. I've noticed quite a lot of ASMR channels are whispering, but since a lot of you <laughs> have been requesting me to do an ASMR video, because a lot of you are apparently using my unboxings as ASMR, and for that, I take it that it's okay that I'm talking in my normal tone of voice. And a lot of people find that relaxing. I went to the liquor store and got myself four types of Christmas beers. I bought four from Sweden, from different areas of Sweden. So, let's see. We first have this one from Sigtuna. And then Mellerud's. Prima Julen, which is prime Christmas beer. Mm. And then this one, I think it's quite interesting. I don't know if you can see that dragon, but doesn't it kind of look like the dragon in Never Ending Story or that big animal? I think it kind of does, doesn't it? But this one is from Jämtland, which is not a city but a larger area. Landskap as we call them. And then this one, which I believe is from the town where I am currently living. It is <laughs> Kalasjulöl, which is like party Christmas beer translation. Nils Oscar, which is a name. I'm guessing it's the guy in the picture. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. So let's try them. I have my four beer glasses here with me. Let's pop up the bottles. Start. Oh, okay, that one looks pretty dark. Ooh, okay, this one looks to be the darkest, so I'm gonna put that in the biggest one. From what I've noticed when I have been, because I'm quite fond of beer, um, the um, the more the flavor in the beer, the thicker the glass, pretty much. When it is quite light beer, it usually doesn't have that much taste in it. And so a thinner glass would be recommended to get all the flavor out, from what my experience is at least. Okay, let's start with the first one. Oh, that one looks a little bit darker. I think I'm going to take this one first. Oh. And one thing you can do when pouring, it's um, the more you pour from the side like this, ooh, bing, the more... Um, it will be carbonated, so if you pour like this, for example, straight into it, a lot of the bubbles will disappear while you're pouring. So if you don't want it highly carbonated, I would suggest pouring it like that. But if you don't mind, you know, constantly burping, you can pour it like this. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna... Look at those bubbles, I... That's a lovely sound, isn't it? Oh. Ah, okay. Can I just want to listen to it for a bit? Let it stand there, and then we have the next one. Yes, the one from the city which I am. I'm not from here, but I'm living here, and it feels like home. So, mm.
They actually have a different sound, the bubbles. I've never really noticed that before. But now I do. Uh -huh. So let's pour the next one. Really excited to try this one. Although this isn't, this is more about the ASMR feeling than my taste buds, but I love beer, yes. <laughs> so let's pour this one. Oh, I love this glass. I wonder, this was probably my first beer glass. Mm. Okay, here we go. Isn't as loud as the other ones? Interesting. I think. I'm not quite sure. Um, and so the last one. Great. Oh, time to taste. Oh, well, soon at least. And all the bubbles has laid down to rest. <laughs> I would normally like it more carbonated, but for the ASMR feel now, I felt it was better to just keep them bubbly also so that I don't burp excessively during this video. That wouldn't be great. No. This one, this first one seems to be quite ready. It's a bit of a darker. Oh, it's so pretty though. So, this one, never tasted it before. Actually, I think the only one I've tasted before is this one, and it's only one time, so. Sweeter. I know a lot of darker beers often have this um, sweeter taste to them. It's almost like a burnt taste sometimes with especially these Swedish Christian species. It's already getting to me, I'm sorry. <laughs> these Swedish Christmas beers. Sometimes it feels like um, a burnt taste. I'm not sure how loud my um, me swallowing is. I'm sorry if it's too loud. <sighs> mm. Yeah, it has this after taste, this burnt after taste. Mm. Okay, so this one. Uh, okay, this as you can see, the color is a bit lighter than this one. A little bit more red. Or something, I, I don't quite know. Something like that, yeah. doesn't have that much taste, but I can feel the burnt taste in this as well. Mm. Oh, oh, very nice. Mm -hmm. But then again, no, I'll probably say that about every beer, because I love beers, so don't take my word for it. <laughs> and then this one, uh, ah. which was, I'm sorry, I should show it, it was this one, with the dragon. In a um, so cute, in a Santa Santa hat, Santa, Santa thingy on the head, yes. Oh, this is really burnt. Ah, 
very nice. I forgot to taste more. Oh. Mm. The burnt taste is not an aftertaste here, it comes immediately. Then the other tastes come. Mm. I think the uh, burnt taste of these are so well ingrained on my tongue right now, I just, everything just feels burnt. Uh, or taste burnt, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the last one. Well, the some. Oh, it's quite light, I think. Actually, it's pretty light. I. Oh, oh my gosh! I think it. Is that apricot or is it lemon or something? It smells. It smells really fresh. Oh, really fresh. Hmm. I don't know if you can... No, I'm just scared I'll um, dip out something. Mm. I'm just gonna take it first. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's not... not oh. mm -hmm. It was this one, by the way. What is that? Is that marshmallows? Lemon, apricot, marshmallows, those tastes are very different. But it is a very strong. What is that? It is not how beer usually tastes. I'm sorry if I'm making smacking sounds, I'm so sorry. I should not do that. What is that? Very interesting. It is quite the light beer, I think. Um, I mean, in color. Mm. The ones are quite dark. It is such an interesting taste. Let's see here what it says. Hints of toffee and chocolate. Dashes of apricot. There we have it. It was apricot. Herbs and grapefruit. Ah, that would explain the uh, lemon. Mmm, grapefruit. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Let's see what these ones is. Okay, this one. Fruity beer. Mm hmm That's about it, yes. <laughs> Let's see what this one says. Balances the sweet and the sour um, um not sour, the... Yeah, well, let's say sour. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a very clear roasted character. And a beautiful red-brown color. Okay, yeah, it is quite red. Mm, it is. And then this one. Let's see what it says. Fresh and spicy. Hint of roasted caramel. Oh. I did not feel that, but okay. Let's try again. I actually do feel it. I think. Now it disappeared. Now it just roasted. Once again. It actually smells like, um, Roasted sugar. It only tastes like that in the beginning though. After that, just roasted 
hits. Mm. And then this one was said. Mm. Yeah, roasted, yeah. Nothing more than that, no. Sweet and sour, yeah. There is this middle part where it doesn't taste anything. Um, okay, so the next one. What did we say here? This is pretty much just fruity. Hmm. And uh, I don't smell fruit. I don't taste fruit either. No. I just taste beer. Hmm. And then this one had a lot of flavors in it. Toffee and chocolate, apricot herbs, grapefruit. Mm hmm, Let's see if I can taste everything. My god, it just tastes so much. Yeah, grapefruit, herbs, mm. I just, I mean, ooh, ooh. The smell is just, it just tastes so much. So much of everything. Oh. Mm. Mm. Ah. That was nice. Mm. Which one was my favorite? I don't really know. They were all very roasted. Very burnt. Um I prefer normal beer or other kinds of Christmas beer, although I like all kinds of beers, so these were good, but I don't know. I think the roasted flavor is, seems to be like the thing when it comes to Swedish Christmas beer. But this one was very interesting, I have to say. The most interesting because it was just so much flavor. Oh, I'm so sorry. Not to the back the bottle to you, I mean, for the loud sound. Yes. Well, was this a good ASMR? A A S M R. I'm not quite sure how I did. Do let me know. I'll try to do my best. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Bye.